Hi guys, it's Martina and today I'm going to be showing you how I created this DIY string art. If you want to see how I did it, keep on watching. For this project you will need a piece of wood, some kind of plaque, something like that, paint and a brush if you choose to paint your wood or you can just leave it as natural wood, but I chose to use a white gloss acrylic paint and a sponge paintbrush which are my favorite brushes to use with acrylic paint. My plaque didn't come with a wall hanger on the back of it, so I purchased some wall hangers. You will definitely be needing quite a few nails. I picked up two packs of 100 pack nails. And to go with the nails, you'll need a hammer. You'll also need some kind of string. I like using this string that's used for like cross stitching. I'm not sure what it's called. My grandma always used to call it floss but I don't think that's really what it's called. But this is what I'm using today. And then finally, uh, an image of the picture that you want to make out of the string and nails. And also some tape to stick it on your plaque. So I raised my plaque up off the ground just a little bit by using a birch box top. Then my first step is going to be to paint the plaque white. It took three coats of paint to get it as opaque as I wanted it to be and now it is nice and dry and paint won't come up. So I'm going to take my image. I cut about an inch border around the entire image and I'm just going to center it as best I can into the space that I want it to be. And then take some tape. I just pulled some washi tape and stick it to the board and the paper just to make sure it doesn't move around just like that and now I can go back through with my hammer and nails and start putting nails in all like the areas that I want to um, I kind of want to just outline the shape as best I can because I'm going to be putting the string on the outside and having the Michigan portion be the white background still. So I'm just going to do my best to outline it with my nails. have all of my nails in these spots that I think will work out enough that you'll be able to tell the design. I'm going to remove the paper. Now that all the paper is removed, I'm going to go around the border and put nails all around the border as well. And there it is all nailed up <laughs> and I am ready to start with my strings. It took me about 150 I want to say nails to get this completely outlined and the size of my plaque was 9 by 11 inches. So if that gives you any indication of how many that you will need. So next I'm going to set you guys to the side for a second. And now I'm going to start with the actual decoration. So I'm going to start with my green sparkly string that I have. And I'm going to tie it off on one of the nails. It doesn't matter which one it is. I'm just going to double knot it like that. And then just push it down as low as I can down to the very bottom. And then this is optional, you don't have to do this, but I have just a little bit of clear tacky glue. I'm gonna stick a dab just on that knot just to make sure it stays. And then you can cut away the extra, but I think I'm gonna save that for the very end. Next, I'm just going to go through, and here, I'll move you guys so you guys can see this a little bit better. So here is the nail I started on, and I am just going to weave an outline. 
So I'm going to stay on the outside and go around each nail. Just to make an outline and push them, the, the rings around each nail down towards the base as I go. So I'm just going to go all the way around the edge and around the Michigan portion. Okay, once I get back to the same nail that I started on, I'm going to once again tie a knot, but you want to make sure you're holding your string because you don't want to unravel everything that you've just done. And then I'm going to take both tails and tie these together. And then snip the excess. And then if you want, you can just add more glue to right there. That way you know it's not going anywhere. And then just do the same thing for the center decoration. So all of this I'm just going to outline. There we go, it is all completely outlined and it looks so pretty. <laughs> I'm super excited about it. Um, the heart that I made right here is kind of like awkward, but I still really like it. So the last thing I have to do is just go put in all of the string. So I have more of the teal. I have this like purplish pink color and a pale yellow, which are my niece's bedroom colors. And I'm going to go through and just zigzag it all over the place on the outer portion and see how it turns out. Um, one thing about this string is that it is pretty thick, but it has like six strands. So I'm probably going to take one strand at a time and do a bunch of weaving and things like that and then we'll see how that goes. And there's the finished product. It took me probably about an hour and a half to do all of the strings. And you can always do it to your desired opacity. Um, I liked how it looked like this. I think that the Michigan stands out and you can tell what it is and the rest is all very colorful. But you can keep adding strings until your heart desires or until you get tired of doing it. I did go back through and re-outline the edges and along the outline of Michigan. And I just made sure I glued down all of my knots and cut the strings as close to the knot as I possibly could or as I dared to because I didn't want it to come apart at all. But I really love the way that it turned out. Leave a comment down below. Let me know if you guys try this out or if you have any other tips for me on how to do it better. Thank you guys so much for watching and I'll see you real soon. Bye!